Sport Cape Santiago. We're going to do a recon ride of an event that's happening here. I've ridden in different parts of Batangas, not on this side. And I think it's going to be a good opportunity to show you the route for the Cape Santiago Epic 2024. Let's have fun. Coming off the uh, start line, we come down this really nice uh, little dirt road. Um, it's hard packed with some stones, but nothing too technical. It's gonna be fast when you come through here from the start. I can imagine everybody with their adrenaline still pumping. So coming off the start line, you end up actually on a rolling main road that takes you through the coastline of Calatagan. Um, as you can see, left and right, the place is actually peppered with different beach resorts, which gives you many choices where you choose to stay. Built in 1890, it is also known as Faro de Cabo de Santiago, or Cape Santiago Lighthouse, after Don Santiago Zobel, who donated the land where it stands. It's a 51 foot tall red and white brick tower on top of a 41 foot cliff of Calatagan. It serves as a guide for ships passing through the notorious Verde Island Passage. And as you can expect when you're by the coastline, gonna get uh, ups and downs so you come down close to the water and you're gonna climb up past the uh, the point of a cove drop down again so I mean, all this elevation is gonna add up to a, what we expect to be a good climbing day oh I think it's there turn around yeah. So we all uh, uh, downloaded the GPX file from the organizers, but of course, waiting for the route to upload, sometimes you miss a, a few turns. I think this, this is where we're meant to go. Hey dog. Very interesting. Look at this really nice, well used single track. Oh, and something like a, a bamboo forest. Oh, Olivia feels right at home. Right, Olivia. Woohoo! So nice. Oh, I love how this opens up. Bit of a climb back there. But look at this. <laughs> so nice. Good morning. <laughs> I love it. A bullish kind of guy 
but I'm gonna stay on this side. Mine is rope. Morning, good morning. All of that and we're just seven kilometers out of the hundred something we're supposed to do oh dear budget that is the name the name of the game is budget what, over budget, over budget? <laughs> i went over budget already <laughs> overspending do you okay Okay. Ah, just on the off-road side. Yeah. Oh, smart but, move. Uh, opposite way. Choice cuts. Opposite ah. Way. Yes, yes. I see. You're so lucky. So lucky. See so yeah, how we've been climbing for a bit. Awesome ocean view. Are done. Coral rocks. Coral rocks, okay. Which could be sharp in the tires. Nice. Uh, morning. Yes. Morning. It's okay. It's okay, dog. It's okay, dog. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, that was a half closed or half open gate, depending on what kind of personality you have. <laughs> but it seems that uh, parts of the course might be going through some private property. I'll guess the uh, organizers would have arranged for that. For race day. Okay, I see a cellular tower there. Must be one of the highest points in this area. A loose. Some of the climbs have loose rocks. Something definitely to be managed with a steady effort. Sometimes if you macho, if you macho man your way through something loose like this, kind of slipping. Not a macho man. <laughs> Morning. That's okay. <laughs> In my mind, I completed it. 
<laughs> In my mind, I completed that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's hard because you don't know if they're going left or right. Dug it at the top of the. I think that's a photo. Bring the gun to bite. Ah! That's Popong's new bike, and it's the first uh, proper ride for his bomb truck. He got that from La Corse Velo. Same place that. Uh, Same place that Olivia came from. You okay, bud? Yeah. Like a bike. Like a bike. Thank you. There you go, bud. Right turn. Good morning. Good morning. So you get a nice mix of getting back on the main road babe but then you gotta watch out for the for the turns and through the off-road sections but it's keeping it nice and alternate which uh keeps it interesting okay magandang umaga po roof 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 good morning po Hey dog. So we're passing through very small paths uh, that are beside the residence. So I hope everybody uh, keeps it nice and polite. Just let's remember that we're just passing through. They actually live here. Why did I still don't know why he crossed the road? Do you? For many, it's the quickest way to clear your field of your previous crop while providing the ashes and the nutrients into the soil all over again. But uh, definitely puts a new meaning to smoking grass. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to put out the fire in the field. I'll imagine not because. Setting a field on fire like that is pretty normal in the province, but maybe they're there just to make sure it doesn't go crazy. They call that kaingin. Some parts are even long enough where you can settle down in your drops and hold a steady pace.
That part was so nice. Oh, you see the mangoes are starting to bear fruit. The mango trees are starting to bear fruit. Butterflies. Hump in the dark. <laughs> Oi, that meant differently. Huh? Climb. <sighs> okay, but that was still fun. But now we gotta pay for that downhill. And I'm out of gears. Drop the chain. So we get all sorts of uh, climbs, short ones, steep ones. Then you come back on uh, sometimes broken cement roads, sometimes old dirt roads. But it's punchy all the way. Great view. Strong wind. But I'm liking the mix. I'm liking the mix of this. Uh, I think we're spending just about enough time on the main roads to uh, recover, regroup, and then we come out and uh, hang a right or a left somewhere back into the fun stuff. Like in the mix. Definitely liking the view. Closed? Okay. So since none of us have been on this route, we decided that we'll break it up into two, well, three parts, two stops, 35 kilometers, and we start looking for a, uh, for a place to at least buy a cold drink or a neighborhood snack, a local provincial snack. <laughs> Let's go, carry on. Okay.
I love these back roads. I super love these kinds of back roads. So nice. But there's some pretty nasty climbs to get here. Stony and steep. I like how this kind of creates a funnel. So you. Uh... Oh, that was soft. All right, here we go with these uh, punchy, stony climbs. Oh, dear. Dal dal, we're climbing and dal dal. To me, guild and co, so put on Social climbing. So we are social climbers. Oh. They saw that climb and decided running the opposite direction. <laughs> They're so bad. <laughs> so so soft I went sideways for a moment. We found a, a store at about uh, 40 something kilometers. What was it? At 43 we found a store so we had a soda, a cold bottle of water which is definitely uh, welcome. And we pretty much got a good opinion of what the terrain is for this route. We're getting directions because uh, we're running out of time. Um, so what we're doing is we're going to try to hit the highway and head back to the cars already. At least we've got a good idea of what we will encounter when we come for the race. Like I mentioned, um, even on your way down, you're getting punchy climbs. Not very long, uh, but you take two steps down and one step up, even on descent. No? And you can get mid-teens kind of gradient on technical climbs. Then you descend again, only to get a little punchy climb. So definitely got to train for that. Um, we'll show you what else is there on the way back to the highway. And here we go down again, but I don't think you can uh, enjoy this 100% because you know there's going to be a little bit of a climb again. <laughs> Oh dear. If 
you've come to watch the uh, recon for the uh, Cape Santiago epic, uh, I guess you can stop here. And if you've come to watch a fun ride, stay with me. We're doing something different. about this gravel bikes. After all that fun in there, we get back on the road and we're doing just fine. Just fine. It's a campsite, but at least we get closer to the water. Super nice. Get on the sand. But unfortunately, I'm not taking my shoes off. Not here. I can't imagine how hot this is. Yeah? Nice. I'll end the vlog here. Uh, almost 65 kilometers, about 980 meters of elevation gain in that short ride. Um, it was basically a ride at Alcalatagan. Part of it was the route for the Cape Santiago Epic 2024, and part of it was fun for us just uh, getting back home for some cold beer. I hope you got to see what you needed to see. Uh, the route is as I showed, it's got a lot of punchy climbs. Even going downhill, you get uh, two steps down and one step back up. So you gotta prepare for that. It's rocky, it's stony. Uh, some pitches go to mid-teens in, in elevation uh, right away, uh, mid-teens in uh, grade. So, I guess you gotta prepare for all that because putting it all together, although they are short, it adds up, it really adds up. But still, I think I'll be looking forward to that when it rolls around. I had, I had a good time. And if you did too, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Cheers.